Right, I'm just going to do a little video of one of my amphibians. I'd say young, they were young. I'm going to tease them out with some young crickets. Let's see if I can get a few of them to appear. Normally, once they realise there's something moving around in now, they all make an appearance. Now, what these are, these are what well, used to be known as Bombina Maxima. An English name, well, there's probably many giant five belly toad giant bell toad, just bell toad, but they're like our oriental five belly toads, or ours, the Chinese ones, these also come from China, and these are, um, well, they're giant, although only people that are familiar with the five belly toads will think of them as giant I can't remember if I've had them yesterday. I normally feed them every other day. I'll drop some in the corner there. There's a couple sitting right in this corner. If I drop a couple there. Oops, that one's too big. Oh, there's some movement. They're trying to grab something. Yes, there's one on the move. Can I see it in the video? There's another one in the corner, so there's two in the corner. Let's see if I can move the camera forward slowly and then there you can see one. Straighten the camera up a bit. These were quite little when I first got them. I'll move it forward a bit more because there is a second one there. I might be able to get on camera. Oh, he's going right up against the glass because he's in pursuit of a cricket. And there are six in there. I'm sure they'll all appear. <coughs> you might actually catch them having some crickets. Ah, oh, that one's. Uh, I think that cricket's going to be too quick. And that thing will all appear. I think I just haven't put enough in there. Too big a cricket. I'll feed them the wrong crickets for a start. It would help if I fed them the right ones. Although the bigger ones, the males, will handle those crickets. The females won't. Aha! There's one making an appearance out of the moss. You might have difficulty spotting him for a moment until he makes a grab at a cricket. And it looks like a male. So I can now see three of them. And all the males I can see, there are at least two females in there. The males tend to grow faster than the females. And, ah, another one's jumped into view. Or is that the same one that's just There's a head of one, and it's, I use a stick, it's right there. I 
Let's see if I look at the monitor screen. Ah, there's one. To the left. The bottom left of the screen. I can actually see movement on the right hand side of the screen. Just probably spotted that cricket that's mooching around. There's three on the left. There was a fourth. I don't know whether one of the three has moved. One, two, three. Oh, that one's just. It's got a cricket. It's blinking its eyes. They do that to swallow amphibians. The salamanders and newts. And not actually. Acting like they're that hungry, which probably means I fed them yesterday. Sometimes I lose track of the days. Ah, one in the bottom left corner just grabbed one. There's normally, it's annoying. There's normally two that hang about at the far end of the aquarium. aquarium. And today when I decide to film, they're not there. Although sometimes they're there and I just don't spot them until they bloody move. And I've got the eye for this sort of thing too. Oh, the one in the moss. Oh, it looks like... Well, I think he grabbed something. He let her in, grabbed her. Oh, it got that one. Well, these have got their warts on them now. Oh, he's decided to make an appearance. That's that on the on the screenshot. No. So let me just adjust it. Oh, is that another one I see moving in shot? I see the leg of one. Um, can't see. I'm afraid the tripod's in the way, so. I can't really get my head around to see. I thought I saw the waters. Oh, a rear leg of one. The one in the shot. There's one just to the left of that too, so... That definitely looks like a leg in the top centre of the screen there. Uh, maybe I should have put more crickets in there. Ooh. That's a male, that one that's in motion on attack mode at the moment. They normally have much bigger heads, broader heads than the females. Let's see if I can get to tease another one into the camera. Come on, off you go. Through the camera. Oh, there it is. God. Move it back. Power up. And you should see two. There you go. Two. Both male. Giant five bellied toads. In a moment I'll grab one and just flip one over and show you the bellies. Probably not too impressive at the moment, but I don't know, I don't really sort of pick them up. I tend to leave them, but I'll... Let's make an exception as I'm videoing. Oops, I think I just knocked the... There's... Oops, if I can get it in the light. Yeah, well, getting quite a pattern on it. Wiggle, wing, wing. Something like that. Don't, isn't that not used to me doing that? Yeah, it's got these yellowish markings. The mouths tend to be red. But I don't know at what age they'll go red, but they normally have smaller markings like that, possibly. They all sort of tend to be yellow, so maybe the sort of pinky red of the males appears when they're close to fully grown. Oh no, there's a female there. Right, now, 
I move backwards and then pan up, I might just catch there in the corner. There's a male on the right and a female on the left. You can probably make out the difference in the head sizes. So maybe that could have been a female I picked up and turned over actually, which is why she was mostly yellow. In my observations of 600 adults many, many years ago, the females tended to be yellow with more colour on the belly than there is black, rather like that of the European yellow belly toads. Whereas the males, on the other hand, and these were wild ones, the males had less colour on them, uh, but tended to be a sort of peachy pinkish red. Uh, more like that of the European Bombina Bombina, which was something I was not expecting at all. That's one of the many things about amphibians that um, I get interested in. And I did wonder throughout evolution whether or not the European fire bellies and European yellow bellies might have actually been found closer to these and that they were a natural mimic of these guys. And the funny thing is that uh, the oriental fire toad, which is found closer to these guys than the European ones, doesn't look anything like these. The European ones are brown on the upper surfaces, like these guys are. They have the pinkish red on a mostly black background, like the males of these have, if they're European fire-bellied toads, Bombina bombina, whereas the Bombina variegata, Bombina pachypus, Bombina columbatavicii, and Bombina scabra, all have mostly sort of yellow, okay, with scabra and pachypus, they tend to be orange, well certainly in some places they're found, but mostly colour with a few black dots, which is very similar to the females of these guys. So there's this curious thing that occurs whereby its closest relative geographically is not very much like this species at all. Whereas the European ones are. But as anybody knows, the Orientalis are small, rather like the European fire belly group. But these are giant. Now these used to be known as Bombina Maxima. I do believe they've reclassified them, which was probably one of the few sensible reclassifications <coughs> I've witnessed over the years. I believe they're called Grobina now. I could have picked something better than that. But well they've reclassified them. And those are Grobina Maxima. Oh, um, I suppose I should sort of mention they're probably around three and a half centimetres in size, I guess. Um, I bought them about four months ago. No more than that, because I've got an issue that's been going on for five months. And I bought these while I thought that issue was about to end. And I thought I'd have to get somebody to look after these. <coughs> and they were pretty small when I thought I was going to have to get somebody to look after them. And that was five months ago, like I say, uh, when that issue was about to come to an end. But it hasn't. <coughs> and in the meantime, these have gone in four months from sort of metamorphlings that were about a centimetre long. Probably not even that, actually. Probably about half a centimetre long. And now they're about... And the biggest ones are probably about three and a half, I'd say. They're close in size to my Columbat Vichii. But the Columbat Vichii, the Yugoslavian yellow belly, doesn't get quite as big as the normal yellow belly, so they're about four centimetres fully grown anyway. And they're pretty close in size to those. So, there's six in there. There's at least three males and two females. All six are still there. I do from time to time check just to make sure, but I tend to, other than cleaning them out, <coughs> I tend
content to leave things undisturbed. Everyone keeps asking me how I keep the moss alive. Uh, that is with uh, the use of LED lights and rainwater with a little bit of liquefied seaweed from the garden centre thrown in. That is how I keep them alive. And my phone's ringing and I'm just going to cut this off anyway. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that.